Hello, hello. How are you now? Now I will be talking about prism or pyramid 3D shapes. And let's start. This is a cube. Is it prism or pyramid? In order to call something pyramid, it should have the tip on top. So every corner and side, something like that, must come together. So if it doesn't, if you don't have the tip on top, that's not a pyramid. That's a prism. So there is no top here and bottom, the base and the top has the same area. That's why this one is called a prism. I have the examples here. Now let's take a look at this one. So this is a 3D shape. And in the, in the base, the colored area is the base area, which is square. And on the top, it has exactly the same shape, the square. And the lines goes up straight with 90 degree. Yes, buddy, this is a prism. And here is another one. I have rectangle. So, it's broken. Uh, this is a rectangle. The base area is a rectangle. And on the top, you also have a rectangle. And the side goes up straight with the 90 degree. Yes, this is also a prism. And last example I have here is about polygon. So, remember, I just show you a rectangle a square and now the polygon in the in the base you can have any shape including triangle any one of them as long as on the top you have the same shape it's a, it's a prism so the sides goes up with 90 degree this is a polygon prism all right now um, let me also show you this this is a yummy piece of cake and as you can imagine a piece of cake is something like that and you have a triangle on the top you also have a triangle on the bottom as well so this is also a prism once again this is also a prism in 2d it's difficult to see and take a, take a look at uh, this picture, please. But I'm sure it will be difficult for you to see that this colored area, the triangle, which is the base, which is the bottom area, is the same as the top area here. That is also a triangle. So with 2D, it's difficult to see. But yes, we are looking at a prism here. And a pyramid. So this is a rectangle. We have the base in the rectangle. And we do not have the rectangle on the top. So all the sides, they do not go up with 90 degree. So they have some angles here and they all come together at the end here with the tip. So therefore, this is a pyramid. And here I have another example. It's a polygon base, right? So on the top, I do not have the polygon uh, on the top. And they all the sides, they have the angle. They come together at one point. Therefore, therefore, this is called a pyramid. So, and this is a square we have here. This area is the square area, seems like. And they come together here. That's what makes this a pyramid. So, with your homework number six, you are to decide whether you are looking at a pyramid or a prism. Let's practice.